Hey friends, in this episode we're exploring Ajo, Arizona. We're hiking at Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Hanging out with some friends. And we're going to tell you all about our boondocking challenge, so stick around. <music> friends, let me tell you a story. Last year we were in Tucson at Catalina State Park, and I met a guy at the bathroom. I know, sounds weird, but... Not the Jesus guy. Not the Jesus guy. In the robe. In the robe, <laughs> who was also at Tucson. But I met a guy at the bathroom who got to talking, as you do, at the bathhouse in the state parks. And he said, hey, you should go to Ajo. It's really cool. And I said, what's an Ajo? And he said, it's right next to Y. And I said, what's a Y? And he said, those are both towns in Arizona, you idiot. And I was like, oh, how do you spell that? Turns out it was like one of the best boondocking spots we've ever been it's one of our favorite to. towns. Uh, super like chill little town with a beautiful little palm tree square. Very tiny. Very tiny. Don't expect a lot. Your grocery store is also your hardware store. Yes. The, the Ace and the IGA <laughs> are one. But you know what? We ended up staying there for like two, two at two least weeks. two weeks. I think and, it's two. Um, and lo like you could just hike out into the desert. We had so much fun there. The weather was perfect. The sunsets were beautiful. So we had to go back this year. So that's what we're talking about today, back in Ajo. It just so happens that one of our favorite traveling families was in the area, so we got to meet up with Wandering Nation. They were actually one of the first they traveling families first. we ever met that were also like on Instagram, like doing the full-time traveling thing way back three and a half years ago. Yeah, we met them in Maine. And we haven't, we hadn't seen them since because we've been on opposite sides of the country, but they just happened to be coming through. And so we invited them out and they parked right next to us and our kids <laughs> fought with sticks for like hours every day. And we went on hikes and we cooked food together and just hung out and played card games every night. And it was, it was just a blast. We had so much fun. Last year when we were in Ajo, we saw this lone rock off in the distance. And so we decided to hike out to it. And Jed, our oldest son, decided to dub it Butt Rock because it had a big split right down the middle. And when you're climbing up there, the wind is really strong and the wind would blow through the crack. And so... It's Butt Rock. Butt Rock. So when Wandering Nation was with us, we we're like, guys, we got to go to Butt Rock. And they were <laughs> like, okay, well, sure, yes. And so we, we hiked out to it. Uh, we climbed up, we got a bunch of video, we even got some drone shots, so we think this is really cool. Check it out. actually pretty close to Oregon by Cactus National Monument. We picked out a hiking trail to go on with uh, Wandering Nation. It's called Bull Pasture Trail. And man, I forgot how far it actually is to get into the park. Well, like from Ajo, it's only maybe five or 10 miles. And it's, it's down, you know, like a nice 
interstate type road, you get there really fast, and then you realize it's another 17 miles to get just to the visitor center. And then to actually get to like anything, it's like a 22 mile loop, loop. not just any loop, a very <laughs> rugged, twisty, turny, turny, vertically challenged route. Like, oh my gosh, we almost Cars, puked. Car yeah, sickness. it was crazy. So, you know, it felt like it was close, but by the time we actually got into the hike, it was like an hour and a half later or something like that. Um, but it turns out it was totally worth it. The hike was awesome. The kids did great. We got all the way up to the top. We saw all those gorgeous mountains off in the distance. And of course, the Oregon Pipe Cactus were everywhere. Uh, and it was just a great day. It was exhausting. I think it took like all day to like drive out there and yeah. do the hike and come back. Um, but man, we had, we had such a blast. <laughs> If you travel or if you homeschool you've probably gotten the the comments right the, the, the comments the condescending you know what are you doing to your kids <laughs> they don't have any friends they don't socialize with anyone uh, those comments right well what's cool is that uh, Instagram Facebook they've all given us a way to actually connect with other families that are doing the same thing we are and so it's really cool to be able to uh, meet up with them and like, you know, with email and text messages, like you can keep in touch. And so our kids do have friends. They're just not always like right next to them. But it's cool because whenever we do actually meet up with those people in person, like we did with Wandering Nation, it's like, it's like, it's like no time has passed. Yeah. They just pick up right where they left off. Pick up it's where you left awesome. off and you keep going. And uh, yeah, so we just, we love the traveling community and we're just so happy to be part of it. And, and it's always great to see people and hang out with them. Uh, so don't let people tell you that you're not socializing <laughs> and stuff like that because you totally have the opportunity to do that if you want to. Now before we go, we have to talk about our boondocking challenge. Next week, February 4th through 8th, we're doing a five-day boondocking challenge. Now don't worry, this doesn't mean you need a trailer or you have to actually camp off grid during these five days. This is just like a, it's like an online uh, planning session where we teach you how to actually like find boondocking spots and not just one but like multiple in an area so you have a plan because let's be honest you never really know what's going to happen when you get to a boondocking spot and so it's good to have backups it's good to know places to ask and find places that may not even be online so we're going to teach you how to do all that next week so you have to go to tinyshinyhome.com slash challenge Sign up with your email. We're going to send you an email each day with some homework. And we're going to be live on Facebook. 
each day for Every those day. those five days we'll be live on facebook for about an hour we'll be talking about your homework and we'll be answering like any questions you've got any about. questions it doesn't have to be off-grid stuff it could be airstream renovations it can be traveling full-time homeschool homeschooling whatever you have questions yeah about. we're there to answer your questions so uh, we think it's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you go to tinyshinyhome.com slash challenge to sign up. And remember, it's only next week. It's only five days, February 4th through 8th. So we hope we'll see you there. That's it for this episode. We hope you like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff so you don't miss the next one. Bye. 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 to talk about <coughs> <coughs> that's it for this episode we hope you enjoyed it please do the thing so one of our favorite trap bottom <laughs> please make sure to subscribe to like to comment to dance with hammers we had so much fun thanks for coming <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't awkward <laughs> it's hard <laughs> not to She's squint kind of, we should all just go like this be like hey <laughs> <laughs> Now, it turns out we were there when the government was sh shut down. Um, Thanks, Trump. That's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. That was really <laughs> depressing. Wow. Whatever you want to do. Okay, ready? But with feeling and happiness. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs>